All right, good morning and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, so section two of the traditional long form. Let's start with practice. Again, if you are new, just watch for a moment because after we get this practice done, we're going to learn a new movement and that's when everyone can join in. So you can just enjoy the, the watching for a few minutes and we're gonna practice from what we call cross hands all the way through to our first kick. So I turn the other direction so that we all move together. Remember cross hands is with the right hand on the outside, feet shoulders width apart. We do embrace the tiger, return to the mountain, shift weight to your right and turn on your left heel. We're gonna separate the arms and make two half circles. As we step out, it looks like brush knee, but we have a different meaning. Roll back, bicycling the arms, and then turning from our waist. Press, and push. Nice push and support with the legs, really engaging them. Fist under elbow, flatten both arms. Nice big turn. And then we'll press down, relax that left foot and push out to the side. Step, connecting out, turning. We're gonna lift and punch and touch with the heel at the same time for fist under elbow. Repulse monkey, open that right hand, stepping back, hand in front of the shoulder and then one forward and one back with the arms as you turn your waist. Number two, so remember we have three. Okay, adjusting in your space when needed. Number three, big circle step and repulse monkey, diagonal flying. So if you're doing the alternate footwork, we step back, we turn on our left heel, step to the corner and big arms. Diagonal flying. Raise hands and step forward. Open up the arms as you step back. Turn from your waist as you close the arms. Circle down, left hand on top as we close and step. And then right arm comes overhead, white crane spreads its wings. Look at your right palm. Right arm goes down, left arm up. Then they switch. Brush knee and push getting closer now reach out for needle at sea bottom pull back touch with the toes and fold from the hips touching left hand to right wrist fan through the back looks like single whip except the right hand is by your temple turn body chop with fist big turn protecting your head press down Make a fist, touch with the right foot as you chop, and then push with the left palm. Deflect down, parry, block, and punch. Connect out, deflect down, stepping as you parry, hold back, and then punch. Okay, grasping the bird's tail, last couple of movements. Rotate both palms, right arm bends underneath, and then hinge the right arm up for ward off right. Roll back, rotate both arms. Turning as you shift back. Left palm to right forearm for press. And push, flatten both arms, come back over that ball, sit up the palms and push. Okay, here we are, single whip. Big circle, turning on your right heel, press down. Relax the left foot, make a hook. Standing ward off and push. Okay, wave hands like clouds. Shift back and turn everything to the right. Open up that hook. Remember, two beautiful circles, stepping shoulder width. And then we step double wide. Shoulder width. 
and then double wide. Last one, shoulder width, but to the corner direction so that we can make single whip. Okay, high pad on horse, open up that hook, right hand to the shoulder, touch with the ball of the left foot, pulling in, right hand throw level. Here's our last move, separation kicks, level out both arms, draw your foot in and step out as they cross. Show pulling, turn from your waist, close the arms. Standing up, look, kick, Bend the knee, change the arms, always touching if you'd like. Woo! All right, we did it. Welcome. Hello. Hi, nice to have you here. All right, so for those that are new, again, this is our forms class right now. So that is a big chunk of practice, all right? Now we're all going to work together. Now's your time to join in, all right? And we're going to get moving, okay? So the first thing we're gonna talk about is our kicks, all right? I wanna make sure that everyone feels really comfortable with our balancing, okay? So when we are doing our kicks, these first two kicks, we're using this top of our foot here, okay? We're not gonna curl back our toes and kick out. We're imagining the top of the foot and we're kicking out, okay? So if our balance is a little wobbly, we can always grab a piece of furniture, okay? Super helpful, all right? So let's talk about our kicks. Remember, whenever we're kicking, we wanna have length through the crown of our head. We're picking a point directly to stare at, and when we stand up, we point our toe down. So no matter where you are, be that standing up a little bit, standing up a lot, standard or touching, that toe is gonna point down, okay? When you're here, really be careful to keep your hips nice and level, okay? We also want to have our torso match the direction of our foot. That's why I'm facing you, okay? So if our foot is facing straight, then the torso is going to face the same direction, okay? If you try and turn your torso to a different angle, say my foot's open 45 degrees and I try to turn like this and stand up, it's going to be very difficult. Okay, so we always want to make sure that everything is in line and facing the same direction. And when we stand up, if we ever feel wobbly, we're just going to touch right away. Okay, so a couple of things looking at a point at a head, lifting through the crown of your head. Are you breathing? Okay, so a lot of times when we go to stand up, we hold our breath and then our balance is really affected. All right. So let's talk about today's new movement. Uh, we have those tips in mind, so watch one time, okay? So from our first kick, we're going to sit down and step. We're stepping less than corner. We're gonna circle the arms, passing left over right. We're gonna turn from our waist, Stand up, look, and then kick and bend the knee. Whew. Okay. So that's just demo, right? Now we're going to break it down nice and slow. So remember, we always start with our footwork. The health benefits of Tai Chi really come from starting with a solid foundation. Okay. So let's go over what a bow stance is for those that are new. A bow stance is a stance, if you face your camera, where you have your, say, left foot 45 degrees. I'm mirroring you, okay? So 45 degrees, and then you're stepping out with your right foot, so you have two lines between your feet. Essentially, we want to avoid this, so we have stability left and right. And when we end up in a posture, we'll have our knee over our ankle. Okay, so this is our bow stance. So this is what we're going to go into, all right? So from our kick, when we start with our kick, our foot is in between what we call straight and 45 degrees, okay? So it's a little off angle. 
Now we're standing up, we've kicked, we've bent our knee, and what we're gonna do is we can touch for a second, okay? We're gonna sink down. So you're, when you sink down, keep your knee in line, and then you're going to step out towards the 45 degrees or corner direction. Now, when I say corner, I want you to think you are center and you have a square around you, okay? So that 45 degrees or corner is from you being the center of your square, okay? So we're gonna step in a little bit. Now you're gonna move your weight forward, okay? From here, you're going to turn your torso so it matches your foot direction, okay? Now you're gonna shift your weight into that right leg. So you're gonna pour that weight in nice and slow. And then you're gonna stand up and either touch or you're gonna stand up all the way. And you're actually looking towards where your torso is first. Then you look and then we kick and bend the knee, okay? So remember when we kick, Top of the foot is what we're kicking with, okay? So we're kicking out. If we're touching, what we'll do is we'll touch, we'll kick and touch, and then cut, touch and come back, okay? So, so many options. Don't feel like you need to stand up and be all wobbly to then kick, okay? You can stand up and touch, kick, touch and come back, okay? All right, let's talk about our kick real quick. I see a lot of people leaning back, all right? This is the natural thing. I'm gonna demo on the other leg just because we're gonna be standing on this one for a second, okay? We're gonna be kicking with that one. When we stand up, in order to hold your leg up, we need to use our core, okay? So the higher you lift, the more lower abs you are using, okay? So we want to avoid lifting this leg up so much that we're doing this, okay? That's going to affect your balance a lot. So stand up nice and tall, okay? And then just pick up to wherever's comfortable so we don't lean back even a little bit, okay? Yes. All right, so important, all right? Let's do this a bunch of times, all right? So... Starting with that left leg nice and straight. We just did that beautiful kick and we're, maybe we're touching, okay? Sink down. Now step out into a bow stand. So we have those two lines between our feet and we're gonna shift forward and turn. Okay, now just turn your torso. So leaving your hips where they are, we're using our spine to turn our torso so that it matches our foot direction. You're gonna pour that weight in, standing up. Your leg is going not corner, not straight, in between. We look and then we kick and bend the knee. How are we doing? All right. Hey, this is hard. I want you to remember, you're jumping in right to the balance exercises, all right? Yes. The foot doesn't go so high, but at least we're doing it. That doesn't matter, okay? What matters is that you have your toe pointing down and you kick. I don't care how high your leg goes. If you have your leg up off the ground and you kick like this, you're nailing it. Why? Because you kicked and you came back and you're not doing this, right? Because I see you, you're not wobbling, okay? So remember, we have to actually gain strength in our legs in order to do these kicks, okay? And this is, again, something that we don't do in normal life, all right? So if you are standing and you are kicking and you are kicking down in a beautiful kick and coming back, I love it, all right? I absolutely love it because you're meeting yourself where you are. You're challenging yourself because you're not wobbling and you're still doing a beautiful kick. All right? You are, so, you are so kind. I am telling you the truth, okay? Tai Chi is for everyone 
It's for everybody, literally every body, okay? So that we can really meet ourselves where we are, okay? So let's do it again. So remember, we're gonna be standing on that left leg. Maybe it's touching for a second. Maybe we're standing up. If we're standing up, remember, toe points down. Remember, don't lean. Use that core, okay? Sinking down, we're gonna step out where? Kind of towards the corner, a little bit in, okay? We're gonna move our weight forward. Our torso is pretty straight. Now turn, pour that weight in, standing up. Look, pick a point that's not moving. Kick, bend the knee. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Nice kicks. All right. So that's looking pretty good. All right. Let's talk about the arms, okay? I'm going to show you the normal direction, and then we'll see how we feel about mirroring, okay? So we're starting with our left hand at our shoulder, and our right arm is extended nice and long, okay? Beautiful. Yes. Palm up to the sky. Hard to see with the beige walls. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What we're going to do is the right arm is going to come in. Okay. It's going to come across as the left arm goes to the other shoulder. Yes. So try to drop those elbows down. Relax them. Relax those arms. Yes. So we're going to make a cross. Yes. Now that left arm is going to swoop out. Yes, that was it. All right, now we have our beautiful kick. We turn our body, that left arm comes across, and we make an X, all right? Yes, now from here, we're gonna draw two rainbows. As we rotate, and those palms open up. Woohoo! that was beautiful. All right, so face your cameras for a second. We're gonna work on this turning, okay? So remember, when we are directly facing each other, I'm going to mirror you, okay? It might not be the prettiest thing, but we're going to work on it together, okay? So left hand's at your shoulder. Right palm is out long, okay? So they're actually going to go where? Across the body. So we're going to cross the arms, yes, as we close. Perfect. Now that left arm is going to swoop across cross. Perfect. So the position we end up in is with our left, our right fingers pointing towards our left forearm. Okay. Perfect. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take that left arm and you're going to close it to the right. So on the outside. Okay. So bring it on the outside. Okay. Yes. There you go. Perfect. Now two rainbows. So we make two beautiful rainbows and we open up those arms nice and big. Yes, okay, let's do it again, all right? Left hand, right palm to the sky, okay? First thing we're gonna do is come across the body, okay? Now that left arm is going to go across the right, so the coming underneath. Yes, 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 okay, now, you're gonna turn, you actually turn your body, which leads that left arm to meet on the outside. Perfect. Now big rainbows and reach and extend. Yes. Yeah, this is important, okay? When we're doing this, this is our kick, okay? So to help with balance, sometimes we feel like having our arms in will help, okay? A lot of the times, this is what we do naturally when we're kind of nervous, okay? Our arms stay close to our bodies. We want to extend out, like you're pushing out against a door jam or like invisible walls, and you want to imagine you're kicking and you're pushing and you're reaching for stability, okay? That's what we're going for, okay? So let's do it a couple more times. So left hand at the shoulder, right hand to the sky. All right, so first thing we do, the arms are gonna close and go across the body, okay? Now that left arm is gonna pass over that right arm. Beautiful, okay, yep. So it's like a 
Swooping across. Swooping across. Yes, that's it. Okay. Now, closing the arms. Left arm comes across and meets at the forearm. Okay. So remember, we want to avoid the wrist. We want to avoid being too close. We're trying to hit that in-between point, and we avoid this. We're kind of open, okay? Yes. Now from here, big rainbows, and come out. Okay. Want to do it one more time? Sure. All right. All right. <laughs> Left hand to the shoulder, right arm up, okay? We're going to close and cross the arms. Then we're going to kind of extend. Extend that left arm out. Okay. Perfect. Close. And then rainbow out. Yes. Nailed it. Okay. So watch one time. Okay. I want to show you the key points that we're going to be hit. We're called them checkpoints or maybe Kodak moments. It's just essentially points within that movement that we can say, okay, did we hit this spot, okay? So we start where? We start here, okay? So just watch one time. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down. We're gonna cross those arms over and our foot is fully touching the ground, okay? That's number one. Number two is doing that swooping across, okay, and hitting this position. Okay, elbow and knee will be in line here. Right fingers point to the center of the forearm. Okay, now that left arm is going to close as we turn from our waist. Next, we're going to stand up. Then we look, then we kick. Okay, so we're going to break this down nice and slow. Okay, so starting where? Standing on your left leg, just touch with your toe. Right palm to the sky, left hand to the shoulder. Okay, you're gonna sink down, touch with your heel of your right foot. Okay, as you pour that weight in, you're gonna cross those arms. Then remember, it's that swoop across as you pour that weight in. Nice, okay. Now from here, waist turning brings that left arm so that the arms are in that X or cross position. Then we stand up and you can touch if you want. Then we're kick and open the arms in those rainbows and come back. How do we do? Okay, okay. It's hard. Give yourself a moment, okay? Remember, you're jumping into Tai Chi. This is full on, okay? So let's talk about our arm position with our kick, okay? And then I'm going to get to your question, okay? When we kick, it's very, very important. We've already talked about number one. Don't lean back, right? So really engage the core to lift up to wherever is comfortable for you, okay? Number two, super important with the kick. I'm going to kick right to the camera, okay? So if I am kicking to the camera, leg and arm go together to that direction, okay? So we want to avoid this, okay? Actually, at the end of the form, there's a movement called cross kick that used to be like this, but then the Yang family standardized it over the generations so the arms are the same but we want our torso again to follow the foot direction and we want our arms to also follow that foot direction. Okay, that's gonna help with balance as well, okay? So what? Uh, let's do it again and then I'll get to your question, okay? So from our kick, right hands up towards that kicking direction that we did the first time, okay? Left hands to the shoulder. Beautiful, okay. We're gonna sink down and touch with the heel. Okay, remember we're gonna cross the arms so they're gonna come to the center. Then that left arm's going to pull across. Okay, I'm gonna come close for a second, okay? So here, elbow 
and knee should be in line with your right side. Perfect. And then that left arm is going to point to what we call the corner direction or 45 degrees. Because remember, you're center, right? So this is going 45. Perfect. Now from here, turn from your waist. Turn to close the arms. Yes. Okay. Then we stand up. Then we do the rainbows as we kick. Then we bend the knee. How are we doing? Better. Be yes. <laughs> Every little bit in Tai Chi is a win. Okay. I want you to remember that. Okay. Did you have a question? I do. Um, on the last part, when you kick, are your arms supposed to be in this position or in this position? Okay. So let me show you from the first one. It'll make more sense. Okay. So the first kick we do, we kick and then we change our arms. So that's why this one's different, okay? Uh -huh. And then we do the second one where we turn and then we kick and we keep the arms out, okay? Oh, uh, okay. So it's just the first one that kind of changes the rule, okay? So typically we keep the arms out, but the first one we just change. So something I didn't talk about for those that are new, and I appreciate you mentioning the arms, is when we do the arms, I'm going to turn to the side direction to make this as clear as possible. We're not going to be like this, okay? We want to have what we call is 135 degrees between the arms. So it's the difference of having 180. If you've ever done yoga, you did warriors, this is that, okay? We want to relax it in. Okay, so from this side direction, it's not an extending. Let your chest sink in and your back round and your elbows hang down, okay? So that will help as well. Because if we're here, see how the chest lifts? You can even feel it. If you open up too far, everything kind of comes up, okay? We want to let it sink down. So we're always thinking about energy sinking to the center of our body, okay? So what we talk about in Tai Chi is we want to feel heavy through the legs. That's where we get our balance. So we want to build up strength in our legs and feel nice and heavy like we're connected or sometimes we say rooted to the ground, like literally like tree roots, <laughs> like you're growing into the earth and you feel super stable. And then we want to feel light and airy through the arms. So this really comes into play with our kicks too, because we want our kicking leg to feel super stable. We want it to feel heavy, but then we want to feel this lightness up top. All right. Great question. I love the questions you guys ask. It's so important. Hey, you Shirley, are getting better. Can I you ask a are getting Yes. Can I ask a question? At some point before the end of the class, could you just briefly go over the transition into the first kick? And then oh, absolutely. Yeah, Let's you. review it right now. Let's just do it all together. Okay. okay? Thank you Why so not? Okay. So for those that are new, we're going to do our best. Remember, these two movements are linked together. They're opposites of each other, okay? So we're going to start in a movement that we call high pad on horse. He's with dad. He's skateboarding. Little dude is skateboarding right now. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start with our right foot 45 degrees, and we're going to sink down into our legs. So this is an empty stance. The big difference here, just because we have some new people, is we have one line, if I step on the actual lines, we have one line between our feet, most of our weight is in the back leg, and then we open up and both stances two lines. Okay, so this is the difference. Having one line between our legs and having two lines where more weight is forward or more weight is back, okay? So, and you can just skip the arms if you want, if you're new and just work on the footwork for that kick, or you can try to follow along, okay? So from, we call high pad on horse. Most of our weights in the back leg, our right hand is extended out, okay? Our left hand is on our ribs facing the sky. Remember, let that chest sink in, that elbow's going back, okay? We're gonna open up both arms. We say level them out. Okay, we're gonna pick up our left foot 
Our right hand is in front of our shoulder here, okay? As we step out, it's the same thing with the arms are crossed, but the right hand on top this time. Now the right arm's gonna swoop across. Then left elbow and knee are in line. It's gonna be the same. This time turning from the waist, right arm goes on the outside. Then we stand up, we look, kick, and then we change the arms as we bend the knee. So left palm to the sky and right hand to the shoulder. Now the second one, we sink down and we step. Touch with the heel. As you connect to the ground, we cross the arms. The left arm swoops across. Then you turn your waist to bring the left arm on the outside in that cross position. Standing up. Look, kick, bend the knee. Did that help? Thank you. That was great. I appreciate it. You're welcome. They're important because they go together. So within the Yang family's forms, we have three types of kicks. Okay. We have these first two kicks that we call separation kicks, which remember I talked about we're using this top of our foot and we're kicking, kicking. Okay. We have what's also called a heel kick. So it starts the same way, except this time we draw our toes up and then we kick with the front or bottom of our shoe. So we kick out. And then at the very, very end of the form, don't be scared, okay? We have our last kick, which is called a swing kick. We... <laughs> okay, I know, right? Game over, okay? Remember, remember with this kick, okay? We can just do this. Okay? <laughs> the, the big version is a lot of fun, okay? And there's methods that we can use to train for that kick, okay? So keep that in mind. There's things that I will introduce before we get to that kick so then you can feel more comfortable with it. I love the expressions I just got from you that made my day. <laughs> That was awesome. All right. So the reason I brought that up was because within her form, the first two kicks are the separation kicks. Okay. So those separation kicks are the only two in the form where we see we're using that top of our shoe. And then all the other kicks that we'll do for most of the form are heel kicks until we get to swing kick. Okay. That swing kick is essentially. It's just a circle. You're just going like this, okay? It just looks fancier because you're starting from up and then kicking and then coming back up, okay? So that's why it looks fancy, okay? All right. <laughs> I love it. Hey, you guys are smiling. That's all that matters. That's what I want you to get out of Tai Chi. I want you to smile and I want you to enjoy your practice. That's why you're here, all right? <laughs> I'm glad my life doesn't depend upon my kick. That comment wins right there, okay? Your kicks are improving every week. So I want you to keep that in mind, okay? So let's do it again one more time from that high pad on horse just to get that extra practice in. And then we're going to do just the new separation kick and then we'll go back, okay? So remember, right foot is where 45 degrees and we're touching with our left toes, okay? Weights in that right leg, it should be burning slightly. Right hands out, left hands at your ribs. Beautiful, okay. Level out both arms, open them up nice and big. Then bring the right hand to the shoulder, cross as you step, so the right hand's on top. Then swing that right arm across. So we end up where? Left elbow and knee are in line. That's our checkpoint, okay? Our torso is straight. Why? Because from here, you're going to turn your waist to close your right arm to the outside. Perfect. Now you're going to stand up. Then you look, kick. Remember, right palm up, left hand to the shoulders. You bend the knee or touch to the ground. Sink down. 
step, cross the arms, then swing that left arm out and across. Beautiful. Okay, check. Right elbow and knee in line. That's your checkpoint. Now use your waist, turning. So bring that left arm to the outside and connect. Stand up. Look, kick, bend the knee. Woo, how'd we do? Okay, if you are not dripping sweat, I challenge you to push yourself a little bit harder. I'm drenched over here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tai Chi, it really increases blood flow and circulation in our body. Okay, it helps to lower our blood pressure. It helps to do all of these amazing things within our body because we're connecting our mind, our body, and our breath, okay? So that increases the heat within your body, and that's why we start sweating, even though we're not doing, say, cardio workout, okay? <laughs> all right. Does anyone have any questions? All right. Let's keep practicing, all right? So let's just do the new one again this time, okay? So just for a refresher. And then we're going to do from high pad on horse a few times. So remember, right hands to the sky, left hands to the shoulder. Perfect. Okay. We're going to just touch with our toes. You can stand if you want, but you're going to sink down and step. Touch with your heel. Okay. Now cross the arms. So that left palm is to the sky. That right hand is coming across to the shoulder. Then we swoop that arm across. Yes. Okay, now close the arms by turning the torso. Stand up. Kick. Bend the knee. Did you see what I did there? Did you see that beautiful kick even though I didn't stand up? It was nice, right? Always an option, okay? I want to demo this because I want you to know that how I perform it is not how everyone's going to do it. Okay. Yes. Toes. Touch with your toes. Okay. I'm going to do it again. All right. Okay. So right palm to the sky, left hand to the shoulder. Okay. Standing up nice and tall. Okay. We're actually looking over our right arm. Touch with the toes. Okay. Sink down into your leg, stepping out. I'm gonna do it even smaller, okay? Left hand comes across over top, and then it pulls out to the side. Okay, close the arms by turning the waist, so left arm on the outside. Stand up, look, kick, bend the knee. Yes, looking good, all right? We have a few more minutes, all right? So let's practice from high pad on horse, all right? Let's get that full separation kick series is what we say, or, or our, both of our separation kicks done together, okay? So I'm going to demo with a smaller stance and touching with my toes. I want you to do what feels best for you, but I encourage you to follow along, okay? So. High pad on horse, okay? Nice, small stance. Okay, right hands turn, left hands by the ribs. Remember, chest sinking in. Okay, open up both arms, big circle with the arms. Draw the foot in as the right hand comes to the shoulder and then step out as the arms cross. So right hands on top, right arm swoops across, Turn from your waist to close the arms, right hand on the outside, stand up, look, kick, bend the knee and change the arms. Sink down, step, fully root as you cross the arms, turning, left arm swoops across. Turn from your waist to close the arms, left arm on the outside. Standing up, look, kick, bend the knee. Was that helpful? Yes. I hope so. 
Yes. Okay. Everyone's at a different level. Every day is going to be different. I want you to remember that. Some days my practice feels really strong. Other days I feel really weak. Okay. It's just going to be how much you've exerted yourself the day before and how much you've done, you know, today. Much better than the right side. Okay. Something to note. One side will always feel better than the other. Okay. It will always, you will always have one side that's stronger than the other. Okay. Videoing yourself is a great way to learn what you look like from the outside. Okay. I do this all the time because I watch my recordings. I won't say I sit and watch all 45 minutes, but I watch myself so that I can learn what I need to do differently. Okay. So sometimes it just gives us a different perspective because how many of us have big mirrors in our homes, you know, that we can really watch ourselves. Okay. So if you ever get a chance, I really encourage you to bust out your camera and then review it. I think you'll be surprised at how good some things look and how not so good other things look. But that's Tai Chi. That's ebb and flow. That's how we, we get our practice where we want it to be. All right. So let's practice one more time from high pad on horse before we close class. All right. So I'm going to just do my normal practice this time. Please do whatever is best for you and your body today. So sinking down into that right leg, touching with the left toes. Right palm, left hand by the ribs. Okay, open up both arms, level them out. Pick up the foot, right hand to the shoulder, cross as you step. Okay, sweep that right arm across. Close the arms as you turn your waist, right arm on the outside. Standing up, look, kick, bend the knee and change the arms. Right hands up, left hand to the shoulder. Sink down, step, move weight and close the arms or cross and then sweep that left hand over. Okay, close the arms by turning the waist, left arm on the outside. Standing up, look, kick, bend the knee. Nice, beautiful arms. I had to peek before I let go. <laughs> All right, great work today, everyone. Does anyone else have any questions, comments, or concerns before we close class? All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone. It is such a pleasure having you here. I love doing Tai Chi with you guys. Best part of the day is right here. Thank you.